Welcome to this week's edition of the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. I'm Alice Naslip. And I'm Alex Albrecht for the next half an hour-ish, approximito, which is Italian for approximately. <laughs> Not true. Uh, I don't know. Neither of us are Italian. Yeah. Uh, no one listening to this is Italian, right? <laughs> yeah, they're like, what the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I don't know. You, you only know. made that Italian by doing the hand I know, the hand gestures. With no one can see. Speaking of not Italian, <laughs> with us is the lovely Italian, hey, Tom Kraevsky. That's me. Hey, Tom. Hey, non-Italian over here. That hey. an impressive segue. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Real, real. My wife's it Italian. Goes, it goes off road. Your wife's Italian. Italian. Yeah. Uh, so Tom and I have a small world story to talk yes, about. Yes, I wanted to hear. Yes, yes. yes we do. World. So I'll just say earlier this week, okay. because you're listening to this podcast later in the day, everyone, mm-hmm. audience, I mean, later mm-hmm. in the week, later in the future, in the future, in the future, in the future, in the future or later the future in the future. Day. Yeah. I, loved, I loved how It was many back times. to the future day. It was back to the future day. Yeah. And Tom yeah. posted a picture on Twitter. <clears throat> yes. Uh, of him having just had a ride in a DeLorean. Yes. And he thanked Terry Mat- Metallus, Metallus. Uh, who is the creator of 12 Monkeys, that show on sci-fi. Yeah, oh, yeah. Owner, yeah. I just recently met Terry at when I was at New York Comic Con. Oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> so here's the thing. I didn't know my that. Buddy, okay. My buddy Todd Stashwick oh, yeah, is on 12 yeah. Monkeys. I know Todd. He is fucking fantastic on the show. And he's hilarious. Yep. He's Comedy. so good. Yeah. The show is awesome. Have you watched it? I have actually not watched it. I you, don't... <laughs> It is the perfect marathon show. So I didn't That's watch. Great. I didn't watch the show when it was actually like on TV. Yeah, yeah. And then Todd got very upset with me and told me I had to watch it because I would loved it. Yeah. And so my buddy TJ Fixman and I took two days and we marathoned through the entire first season. That's fantastic. It is awesome. That's great. Watch it, people. If you haven't watched it, yeah. fucking watch it. It does a really good job with time travel because we all know we get mm. really nitpicky about that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, season two starts in April, so you have time. Oh great, marathon Perfect. that fucking shit. It is so good. Todd yeah. Stashwick, Todd Stashwick is amazing. Yeah. So anyway, I was hitting up Todd while I was watching the show, and I'm like, Oh my god, I love this. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, he's You like, need to meet the show creator because he would love to hear that stuff. Yeah. So finally, <laughs> Terry and I got Never. to meet in person at um, New York Comic Con, mm-hmm. and. We kind of, you know, we start off the conversation like doing that, like kind of yeah. bullshitty, like trying to get to know someone, blah, <laughs> yep. blah, blah, blah. Yep. And some woman walked up and joined our conversation. And I, for some reason, she was like, Oh, so where are you from? And I was like, I'm from New Jersey. And Terry's like, Where in New Jersey? And oh, I'm like, Got another New Jersey right? connection? I'm like, I'm from She's this- like, Mrs. New Jersey. I know. <laughs> miss. I'm single, miss. She's miss. like, Miss New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. So I, I was like, I'm, I'm from this tiny little town. Mm-hmm that no one's ever heard of. I was like, why are you from Jersey? He's like, yeah, I'm from this area called Bridgewater Raritan. Bridgewater Raritan. And I was like, I, the Bridgewater mall was my mall growing up. You don't oh understand when you're God. from New Jersey. That's your mall. I've been yeah, to that mall. Yeah. yeah. When you're from New Jersey, you were defined by, by your, your mall. mall. Yeah. What it. mall did you go to growing yep. up? That is your mall. Yeah. Terry and I had the same mall. We grew up like that 15, 20 minutes away from each other. And so you guys probably passed each other in the mall. Yeah, I'm sure At we the did. The mall where they shot that no. Bruce Willis movie, The Kid, I believe. Right? Yes. And, and uh, the movie North. The yeah, that's uh, what I meant to say. I oh, think it was yeah, North. Yeah, 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 yeah. North. The North is yeah. the outside of the mall. Is is the Bridgewater yeah. Mall? Oh, that's amazing. Uh, with Elijah Wood and yeah. Bruce Willis. I think that's why. I, I think so. Really. I don't know. I forget. Um, <laughs> but you no, know, Terry and I then like proceeded for the entire rest of the night, being like, "Do you remember where the Sam Goody was and the Pan oh, Express yeah. and the movie theater?" And it was really awesome. And then cut to like five hours later when our entire group of friends has had far too many drinks in our system and we're at uh, this place called the cafeteria in New York mm-hmm. which is open like 24 hours oh, yeah. and we're mm-hmm. eating all the fried food yep. Terry's sitting like across the table from me and I go wait a minute Terry and he's like what and I was like in your show the laboratory that they work out of is called Raritan Valley and he's like yeah it's named after the community college near where we grew up and I'm like my mom taught at Raritan Valley Community College. What? She was in the lab yeah. for the for Twelve Monkey Show. <laughs> so it's just this, this That's crazy amazing. Moment. So then, cut to Back to the Future Day, and yeah. I see Tom tweeting Terry, and I'm like, okay, how the fuck do you guys know each other? That's so amazing. That's, that's what we need to find out. Okay. Yeah. yeah long story short, yeah, I, I bumped to, into is, him once at the McDonald's. <laughs> great guy. We we're both from New Jersey. No. It was really weird. <laughs> no, uh, Tom tweeted me back this whole great story. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic story, actually. I'm very excited. No, I just went to school when I was at UMass Amherst 20 years ago. Whoa. Terry's brother was on my floor. Terry's oh, brother, cool. Greg. So he became like my best friend at school. That's how I met Terry. Terry's like, you got to switch to Emerson College in Boston and uh, move to LA and do film. And I'm like, sweet. So 
That's how I know Terry. So and Terry's the one that got me out LA. here. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Terry got me my first job at Paramount to be an assistant over there. And when Terry was on Star Trek, I was on a different show. Which, so which I owe Star Terry Trek? a lot. Uh, he was on uh, the last one. Uh, the the newest one? What was it? Like Enterprise? Yeah, Enterprise. Yeah. Oh, okay. He was under Brandon Braga, mm-hmm, and he yeah. got me a uh, job to be a producer's assistant on like Frasier and all that. So, so Brendan Braga, yeah. by the way, oh, is, th- th- is this becoming another small world? Uh, not at all. Oh. But he. <laughs> <clears throat> so my dad was in space, not physically but Wait, emotionally. Oh. <laughs> uh, so my dad, my dad used to work in the space. I stuff. know he like ran ran the he, National Space. He's Council. like um, Sean Bean in The Martian, isn't he? No, no, was Sean. Amazing. He Bean. wasn't in. So he wasn't even in The Martian. He was higher than Jeff Daniels oh. in The Martian. Your dad was. Oh yeah. Was he Obama? Yeah. Yeah. So your dad knows what he was just under Obama. Was your dad Obama? <laughs> just under. <laughs> so he basically Obama? in but the Biden Martian. Was under him. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Basically, he reported to Biden and Obama in a different year. <laughs> okay, got it. When they Before weren't those, those two people. Guys, yeah. yeah. But uh, it was actually really funny about the Martian because yeah. he. Did you finally see it? I did, and it was oh, fantastic. Good. Right, so loved good. It. Yeah. L- loved it. But it was really interesting because my dad was like, yeah, because I was like, dad, you got to see it. It's so great. So pro because we were very pro. So my dad was the guy that brought back the meatball uh, logo for NASA. That was like one of the first things he did. What? NASA has a meatball logo? So you know the NASA logo (coughs) with with the planet and like the thing going around the planet? Yeah. yeah. That's called the meatball. They call that logo the meatball. When we were kids, it used to be the worm, which was the 80s. Oh, font yeah. it said NASA oh. that was the that was the new NASA logo they changed it oh I like the worm R- yeah the worm's cool it's yeah. cool it's got its, hey, it's, got its charm <laughs> yeah. but one of the first things my dad did when he r- was starting to run the NASA the National Space Ooh. Council was he was like we gotta bring back the meatball like when everybody sees the moon landing and Apollo like the yeah. meatball is the logo of NASA we need that to be the logo oh, of NASA again okay. and they were like what? that sounds awesome okay. so they did it <clears throat> but I told him I was like I was like, you'll love it. You got to see it. And he said, you know, I'm hearing that it doesn't really show NASA in the best light. And I said, what? right. What and I the said, meatball? no, 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 the Martian, the movie. Oh. And I said, no, dad, <laughs> what you're getting is people who aren't happy that you're seeing the real NASA, that there are people yeah. who are going, what is the best thing for us to do based on what my outcome is, which is, oh. you know, it's like with Jeff Daniels where he's like, even you know if if there's zero percent chance that five of our astronauts die in one of the plans, right? And a small percent chance that all six of them die, we're not doing that, right? Oh. Right. That right, is right. what the NASA administrator would say, right? But NASA is also filled with a bunch of not only scientists, which is awesome and totally representative, but a bunch of so, fighter pilot like test pilot guys, yes, jock guys that are just like fuck it, let's do it, let's go. If there's a chance, I'm in that rocket, oh, I'm going. Okay. My, so my aunt- and it's the conflict yeah. that is truly in NASA that I think he was picking up on. Or people were saying, and I said, Dad, when you watch it, you'll be like, yeah, that's NASA. Yeah. My aunt works at JPL. We've talked about this <laughs> yeah, before. Yeah. And I had dinner with her this week, and she just saw The Martian as well. And um, she was saying that it, it was so accurate. Yeah. She was like, I work with those people huh. that they show. She's like, like the one guy who works in a corner office, and it's all a disaster, and he's so in his head, and someone has to walk over and be like, you know I'm your boss, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah but it doesn't seem to make a difference. He's like... She's like, I know those people. That's they amazing. exist. All of those people exist. That's so cool. So I think they did a really damn good job. So your dad should say it. Wait, we got totally off track. Yeah, this so was why was space? What was this about? Bra- dad was Bra- in space. Bra- 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 oh, Bra- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Brendan Braga. Ken- or Kenneth Braga. Brandon. So, so uh, uh, is it Brendan Braga? Brandon. Brandon, Brandon. Braga. Yeah. So Brandon Bar- Braga became Mr. Space, or Mr. Star Trek. Mr. Mr. Space. So he was like executive yeah. producer, yep. showrunner, the whole right. nine yards. When I was a kid, okay. my dad- because, Did you go to the Bridgewater Mall? Well, no, but I went to the Bridge of the Enterprise mm. on the Paramount set, mm. and I went to a cocktail party oh, on no. 10 Forward no way. with the cast of Star Trek The Next what? Generation. What? Yes. Gave a tour of the Star Trek Enterprise to um, Hugh Downs from 2020, weirdly. Ooh. And I was you like, did? 13, 14? Because I had just taken Why a did tour. You give the tour? Like I just oh. <laughs> I had just taken a tour of the set. Yeah. Right. And I was like, I don't really know what to do. Like everybody's like grown ups are talking business and I was like taking a tour of the set. It was nice. Yeah. And then this woman <laughs> came up and she was like, Hey, does it you know, do you know how to get to like engineering? And yeah. I was like, and yeah. I go, I yeah, I just show. took Turbo <laughs> lives over here. Well, yeah, I was like, I just took the tour. I can go show yeah. you. And she was like, okay. And my parents were like, great, go do something. Because otherwise, <laughs> yeah. you're just going to be standing next to us while we talk to people about things you don't give a shit about because yeah. you're 14. 
<laughs> and so I start walking. I had just taken the tour, and I've got yeah. a great memory. So I just start pointing shit out. I'm like, well, this is the lionfish with Picard, blah, blah, blah. This is interesting oh, because this, and you know, when they first started doing it, this was this, and then they moved yeah. it to this, blah, blah, blah. And she, like, a couple minutes in, she goes, you know who'd really like the, all of this is my dad. Can I go get him? And I go, yeah, I don't care. I'm, yeah, I'm, doing, I'm 14. I yeah, care I'm about not nothing. Doing, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> and she literally brings Hugh Downs oh my God. up to me and was like, hi, I'm Hugh Downs. And I was like, oh, hey. And I go, so anyway, so here's the thing. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, and I basically give Hugh Downs an entire <laughs> tour of the set of Star Trek The Next Generation. So one time when we were at Paramount, yeah. <clears throat> We went into the production offices and we were going to get a tour. I believe they were going to take us to see Deep Space Nine. Oh, yeah. Brandon Braga. Brandon. Brandon, Brandon Braga. It's like you're was, saying Josh <clears throat> Whedon instead of Joss Whedon. Joss. Joss That's Whedon. That's true. That is exactly yeah. what's happening. Somebody yeah. somewhere is going, it's not Josh. It's a Joss. <laughs> yeah. It's not Brandon. It's not it's Brandon. Brandon. It's a Brannon. Brandon. So Brannon yes. Braga was the guy who was so low on the totem pole at that time, he was tasked oh. to take our family oh. Oh, wow. in the little cart what? around to the place. So I basically got a tour of Deep Space <laughs> Nine by right. Brandon oh. Braga wow. when I was by the way, 14. I just realized that no part of me wants to believe that any of the Star Treks were shot on a studio lot in Hollywood. I know. Mm-hmm. I really yeah. want to believe that All they were, were shot were. on a spaceship. 6565 five, six, five, Melrose. No, yeah. that's yeah. so that's weird right. to me. It's like kind of ruining my childhood. Well, what's really <laughs> weird is I now live to a place where when I'm going over to my buddy's house, yeah. I drive right by yes. the place that yeah. when I flew in and didn't know LA and was yeah. like, yeah. the gates, the pearly gates yeah. of entertainment. Yeah. And now I just drive by and I'm like, oh God, uh. somebody's fucking, BMW's <laughs> turning into fucking, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get back to the lot, suit. We get so jaded. Suit. Yeah. I know. We get so jaded so fast. Oh, my gosh. I drove past a car the other day that had the license plate number one agent. And I was like, no. you would never be my agent. Amazing. <laughs> oh my uh, amazing. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, it's fun. You get used to so many things. I remember when I first moved out here, um, I had a buddy of mine come uh, fly out. And we were driving through. We were on Wilshire driving through Westwood. And... Uh, and we happened to be talking about like celebrities and seeing celebrities. And I had been yeah. in L.A. for a couple of years. So you just see them every once in yeah. a while. You know what I mean? You point and take pictures. And literally <laughs> at the exact same time, uh, Ben Affleck drove by our car in a Cadillac. Oh, my gosh. And I happened to look out the window and I go, yeah, great example. That Ben Affleck <laughs> just drove by. And they were like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And I go, no, Ben Affleck just drove by our car. And they were like, what the fuck? We thought you were talking like, so we drove, I sped up and they're looking and they're like, oh my God, man. That's future Batman over there. Exactly. (laughs) Little did you know. Future Batman. Anyway. Uh, So we have to do a thank you. For our fullness. Yes. Thank you, Grubhub. Ah. We used our little gift card that you sent me but we're, I'm saying us I like saying that uh, it was the show because yeah. it, fed, it fed the entire entire production yeah, yeah. oh my we gosh we got Thai food from June Cafe mm-hmm. delivered and have you guys heard about this Thai food <laughs> Tom, by the way Tom was so excited about Thai food Tom apparently has never had Thai food before in his life <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the look in his eyes when he took his first bite of curry over rice it was special yeah he literally, literally was. was like he goes this is amazing. Okay, what, dr- what drugs are in this? How could this be so good? I know. <laughs> so thank you, Grubhub. It's and Ale- Alex and I are currently drinking wine out of our Grubhub mugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Allison's using the Grubhub blanket. And I'm using the Grubhub blanket. Oh, you blanket. are using the Grubhub blanket. In the blanket. garage. Yeah. I know. It's so hot in I'm here. I'm a girl. I'm just co- naturally uh, colder. Mm. Um, okay, so I want to uh, I... I want to propose something to you guys. <laughs> Ooh, this is the new the Allison new Hayslip uh, beta segment 2.0? Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm very excited to so, see what this is. So... Um, is it a word puzzle? No, I have to bring. Up, I have to bring up my phone. So my my mother sends. You actually me, took notes on no, this new I, segment. I'm bringing up my oh, texts. texts. Got it. Uh, my mother sends me amazing texts all okay. the time. They're okay. they're great. And oh, this is the text. Like I have a new guest, and it's like a picture of a squid on the side <laughs> yeah, of her. Or not squid, squid. but a frog. like a spider or a frog. It frog. Be, yeah, it would be amazing if there was a squid on the side. <laughs> of yeah, house. we we found a new friend. <laughs> my mother lives underwater. Yeah. <laughs> She is no. Spongebob, So right? one of my favorite things is when my mother goes to see a movie and okay. then she texts me her review of the movie. Oh. So I thought oh, that's this, this will be infrequent, but I thought we could do movie reviews by my mother. Yeah. I love it. I love it. What so, movie did she review well, that made you? My, my favorite one was a, like a month or so ago when um, uh, The Man from Uncle was out. Oh, yeah. And she's like, I just saw The Man from Uncle. And my mother loved The Man from Uncle when she yeah, was the TV younger. Series, yeah, 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 yeah. So she was excited to see this. I'm like, oh my gosh, how was it? And she said, 
watchable. Watchable. <laughs> wow. So that's, that's the review of The Man from Be- Uncle. Better than unwatchable. But, so just a few days ago, my mother texted me, just saw a Bridge of Spies. Really good. That's so, very good. Hmm, review. So, this it feels so like much. a Tom Krajewski <laughs> one word review. Yes. <laughs> really good. And then I wrote, my buddy Austin is in it. I think he's the soldier Tom Hanks is trying to get freed. So my buddy Austin Stoll is yeah. in Bridge of Spies. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but he's in it. So if you see it. And my mother goes, yeah, he plays Gary Powers. He's also in Public Morals on TNT. Love that show. That's so there's, amazing. There's a TV show. That's a bonus and, review in yeah. there. Yeah. And so then I was like, my best friend Lily is actually on public morals Amazing. she plays Bernadette and I was like she plays Bernadette the girl who the guy with the mustache is having an affair with and she goes yep she plays Bernadette <laughs> love that show <laughs> <laughs> yes she does <laughs> and then my my brother then chimed in about Bridge of Spies and was like okay guess I'll go see the movie and my mom goes Greg it is right up your alley Cold War historical spies Spielberg it's That's really so good. So <laughs> better than watchable. <laughs> so every once in a while, we'll get movie reviews. Yeah. from my mom. I want to hear her. I love uh, this. Star okay. Wars review. So. Oh, watchable uh, Wookies. <laughs> weird. Lots of space. Winner. <laughs> Winner. All right, let's do some. Uh, let's do some emails. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe gonna... only one or two because I don't think we have a ton of time. This is true. This is true. Yeah. But that you know, emails. People uh, love the emails. People love the emails. People got mad we didn't do. I know they did get mad we didn't do. Email. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, immortality worst thing ever. Ooh, is the subject. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. I feel like this is gonna be this is gonna spark some stuff. Oh. This is gonna spark some. <laughs> stuff. This is from Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Kenny. Hello, Allison, Alex, and Tom. Hi. I love the show and listen to it every week. Oh, Woo. thanks, Kenny. I wanted to comment about Alex talking about how science would make us immortal. Mm-hmm. While I believe science will extend our lifespan, I don't think we will ever achieve immortality. Ooh. And we should all be ecstatic about that yep. for two reasons. One. First, one mm. being that our perception of time changes as we get older. Ooh. Yeah. So after a few hundred years, oh, decades oh would pass gosh. like weeks. That's a good point. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the Kenny. years are flying by and I'm in my 30s. And if yeah. I'm in my 200s. 200s, they'll fly by 200s. like water. Yeah. Or whatever that, or what, things what, that fly by. I feel like I would just get by. bored. Don't you feel yeah, like but, you just get bored? Uh, I feel like I could probably. I mean, how many know. Mission Impossibles can I possibly see in a lifetime? But I'd make myself like. Potentially 27. Yeah. Super ninja, and I'd have all these skills. I'd speak a thousand languages. You would acquire, I'd be like Highlander. You would qu- acquire skills. Yeah, there acquire skills. Because we'd have If time. your body's still capable of acquiring skills. Oh, my body. Was this so is my point. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This First off, that's only the first problem. Yeah, okay, what's the second problem? Second. The second being that the amount of information in your brain oh. would be so great oh. that you would have trouble remembering when it happened. That's Ooh. Was it a decade or 10 minutes ago? Yeah, this is freaking me That's out. That's very, very, Dude, this very guy's true. Deep. We yeah. all become our own Fucking personal Kenny. memento. Oh, my gosh. P.S. I hope you and your livers survive drunkenness. Oh, <laughs> we do, too. Keep up the great work. Allison, the astronaut. Hey, Slip. Alex couldn't think of a cool nickname, <laughs> Brett. And Tom, Super Volcano right, Grants. Yeah. yeah. That's good, a good one. Good points, nice. though. Man. Those are really, those are really smart. good points. Now I'm starting to think about, yeah. rethink about my immortality. Hey, can we pause for two seconds and just take a moment? Because I feel like your dog's been barking for 10 minutes straight. She has. It's because I haven't <laughs> been home. Oh. And so she's I mean, just. She's going nuts. I mean, we could stop down, but just she's just. in here. She's gonna if she comes in here, she's gonna get hot and she's gonna sit and then she might start barking and we'll be able to really hear her. <laughs> okay. She's so we'll just fine. ignore But if you want, but it's we can not hit pause and I can go no, see. No, it's not someone breaking into your house is what I want to make sure. Well, well so, that I don't Well, this not hurt the dog. The dog's fine, apparently. <laughs> yeah, the dog's just like, get the fuck off our lawn. <laughs> Hurry right. up with your podcast so you can give, give me love. All right, let's email. do an, let's do another email. Yeah. Okay. Uh um my car is on two. What? I know. I got to hear what? this. This is from uh, Melissa. Frequ- <clears throat> Hi, Melissa. Hello, Alex. Allison. Insert the number of L's you need. No, no one L. But that's the thing. That's... She did all the L's and uh, then said whichever you need. That's not your one. name. Yeah. I need the sixth one. And Super <laughs> Volcano Tom. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Melissa. I've been listening to you guys since the beginning, Yay. and it makes my drive to work much more enjoyable, Woo-hoo! if not dangerous. Oh. <laughs> there have been numerous times I've been laughing so hard that I start crying, and it makes it hard oh. to see the windy road at times, Don't or the cry. windy road at times. Don't the windy road. <laughs> <laughs> it's so windy out here. Where I can't do you even work, see. Melissa? In a tornado. On the side of a mountain? <laughs> she, but don't worry. Her, but uh, don't worry. I haven't crashed yet. 
Good. Uh, Let's I, keep it that right. way. I was recently marathoning the podcast in my trip to Spokane, Washington, Ooh. to my hometown of Shoreline, Shoreline. Seattle's Top Hat. Top, and Seattle's was listening to the episode hat? where Alex Wait. was talking about his car being on. I guess it's Shoreline is Seattle's Top Hat. Oh, it's on top. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a top hat? I don't Probably. Know. All right. We'll have Let's to see. Ahead. Uh, where Alex was talking about his car being on in the parking lot, and I wanted to share my story. I was a freshman in college. It was the first week of school. My boyfriend, roommate, and a friend of hers, and I all decided to go see Resident Evil 4 together. Yeah, you did. It had just come out. Smart decision. We went to the late show, and we were the only person in the theater, which meant we were one of the very few cars in the parking lot. The movie got out around midnight. We walked out to the parking lot to find my roommate was on my roommate's car was on and running. Oh my gosh. Since this was the first week of school, my roommate and her friend hardly knew my boyfriend. And so when my boyfriend jokingly said, maybe there's a bomb under the car. Oh no. <laughs> my roommate's friend got down on the ground and looked under the car for one. <laughs> Thankfully, there was nothing and we had all had a good laugh. Apparently, what happened was she turned the key off to the off but didn't fully latch oh it and then oh. it was old enough so the tumbler or oh, so yeah. it turned back yeah. on to the on position Pontiac Sunfire for the win I had a Pontiac Sunfire you did? yeah convertible oh. sex town sex town? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I also wanted to thank Allison for bringing up the Simpsons on the last episode I yeah. grew up on that show oh. was sad to hear they're not making new episodes after this season oh they're not? this is the last season of is the Simpsons? True? I'm okay with that Wait, yeah, no. the nineties were the best. Now, okay, it I feel like we right. need to go back to Sex Town and your Pontiac Sea Breeze or whatever. Is that what you called your car? In Sex a Town. true Tom one sentence fashion. Oh. oh, my dad almost missed my mer- birth so he could watch the Simpsons season premiere. Yes, oh, what? My yeah. gosh, that's proud. Was it one of that's... the Halloween episodes? No, it was that's the, usually the series premiere. premiere or season, oh, season premiere. Season premiere. Season premiere. Used to be like the Halloween episodes oh, yeah. in the nineties. Yeah. Oh yeah! Wow, that's awesome. I loved those. I'm aliens. super excited to hear Am the Drunk Smith drunksmiths <laughs> episodes, <laughs> and there needs to be a shirt made for it. A shirt for Drunksmiths. Oh, since I oh maybe it's like a nativity thing, or it's, where like, it's like I a survived Drunksmiths. Oh yeah, well we oh, need those. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> since I may not be one of the, since I may be the one of the only people who doesn't have a Twitter account, I was hoping you guys oh. could make a website so I could get all the info, such as where to send goodies and maybe a few mm. Drunksmiths shirts for the day. Oh my day. gosh! It didn't even Please occur me to me. The that first... people who don't have Twitter accounts need a way to get our show. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. The first Melissa oh on the show. The first P.S. Melissa. First Exploding Melissa. Kittens is the best game ever. I right, told you. It was so simple to learn that we actually thought we were missing some of the instructions for it. No, it's fantastic. That's, it's just that good. Wait, should we get a website? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah. That's we'll weird. look into that. All right. Maybe it's, maybe we'll get like sponsor. Maybe we'll get a sponsor like Squarespace or something, and we'll tell yes. them to make us a website. Yeah, right. I'll work on it. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shall we get into some stories? Yeah, let's yeah story. what do we got? Okay, sci-fi, comedy, all of the above. You know what? Let's go, let's go sci-fi. Rom com. Okay. Engineers make an artificial skin that sends pressure sensations directly to the that's brain. That's awesome. What? I don't get it. So this is, yep. so isn't, it's a skin. Isn't that what your skin does? No, 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 no. But this goes on prosthetics. Oh. So if you have well, a prosthetic that makes hand. Way more sense. And then you put this new engineered skin on it, you'll be able to actually feel Ooh. things in the, in your, you, you know what I mean? Like on your fingertips yeah. on the thing. You know what I mean? Does it feel temperature too then? Because that's. Yeah. It says uh, heat. Uh, it says uh, uh, pressure. Heat. What? Let me see. What do we got here? How what do they come up this? with this? This sounds like someone's been. That's amazing, dude. It's a it's a, a flexible skin like material was uh, able to work in this way with the pressure stuff uh, with the team uh, sh- striving for artificial skin to work just like actual human skin. Whoa, <laughs> all right, that's what I assume. <clears throat> what else would that's right? How great is that? I'm all about that. So then you won't accidentally like melt your prosthetic hand in like a fire. <laughs> well, but I'm also wondering if it's something that eventually will work for people like burn victims. Yeah, like skin grafts. Yeah. Well, definitely. If you lose, like, if your skin dies. Yeah. And even though you don't have, you know, you you just need the skin over the thing because yeah. your, your structure is still there, but the skin has died for whatever reason. Right. Yeah. Why wouldn't they use an artificial like skin tied gang, to your brain? Gangrene. Yeah. Like scurvy. Or f- fissure. <laughs> scurvy? So, <laughs> fissure? Fissure. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think, like, could you put the skin over, like, any object and then 
you know, like well, looking at your well, no, you mean, ball over there. You like, mean make like a like a tennis ball that f- you feel? <laughs> yes. No, because I think Seriously. it has to attach to your own nervous <laughs> but system. But wouldn't somehow. it in a way? It's yeah, you'd it's have like, not how like does... wireless. That would be amazing <laughs> if there was like a chain coming from the back of Tom's skull, and it was going down to a tennis ball, and he was like, "This is how I feel. I feel my environment with my feeling tennis ball." And he just hit people with your tennis just, ball, and you were like, you feel soft. I just, just keep picturing, like, the things from Avatar. <laughs> yes, exactly. By the the way, little tail. Isn't yeah. that the biggest miss in that whole movie? But you plugging know they, into an animal. And yeah, well, they were plugging into an animal, but I feel like maybe we talked about this before. I don't know. But didn't you expect them when they finally had their sexy time scene that, like, I thought they, they would did. plug into each other? No! no they, they didn't? didn't. They, you, it seems like it's, you think they did because it's that obvious. Yeah. But they don't do it. They didn't have tail sex. No, they don't have, but it's hair like tail. Head tail sex. Hair tail sex. Yeah. Why? Biggest I, maybe the sequel maybe, you know what, will no. answer that question. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. also, it might have just not made it past the ratings board. Yeah. <laughs> like, they were like, whoa, like, that wait, sex we... scene where they touched things and then they all got crazy and they just sat and stared at each other. Yeah. And then, and then one's pants got wet. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> That's Avatar with the hard R. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> it's Avatar. Avatar. <laughs> then it just sound like a pirate. Avatar. Avatar. Har. 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 I'd, plug I'd your hair it. into me. I watch wench. Avatar. <laughs> Swab the deck and plug your hair in. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, Horrible. Anyway, so artificial skin. Artificial skin. Don't Look. put it on a tennis ball. Don't put it on a tennis oh, ball. It's very even. exciting. So this is uh this is more of a sort of like a conversation about work in a way. Um, what? <laughs> Today's college graduates okay. might not retire till the age of 75. Ooh. I don't care. But this gets on the thing. <laughs> I feel like because of the f- career that I've chosen, yep. I don't anticipate ever retiring. retiring. I agree. Yeah. Because I enjoy I so much what I do that yeah. I feel like it's uh, it's partly free time fun. Well, and also because we don't have regular work hours that we don't burn out. That's yeah. true too. Yeah, you that's know? definitely true. Like when you do the same job for 30, 40 years. And you, you get like two weeks off or three weeks yeah, off a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you, you and I live different lifestyles, <clears throat> but that also means like you and I don't ha- really have retirement plans. Well, that's the other thing. So, yeah, the retirement plan is, there's boy, no, I hope I keep working. Yeah, there's no- <laughs> I hope that next no job comes in. Way for retirement. But it is interesting, like, because this is the big issue with the social security and all that. A huge, because it used to be like, 55 right? right or something yeah. like that I was young yeah wow but it's young to us but back then that no, was like I 85 know, you only could live to like right 60 yeah yeah i don't know you're right though because like when you're doing a creative job like this is all i mean i'm a writer so it's creative and i can it's not like labor intensive and i love it yeah and you guys hosting and acting it's fun yeah. why would you want to retire i know well, i'm so sure strange. there's a there's a point where it would be nice to just like live and enjoy your life and not have to worry about work but yeah but if you, but it's even kind if of get to that point but even if i get to that point yeah. where i don't have to work right i'm still gonna want to work That's because fun. i enjoy it you know yeah. what i mean yeah but it's also that. you're right we're not in nine to five jobs right we're also very fortunate, knock on wood, to be working in a field that we love working in. Right. Whereas a lot of people have jobs to have J-O-Bs. Like, right. They right, need right, right. the money and they need to work and they don't necessarily love what they do. Right, but they you know? do it to have the <clears throat> lifestyle outside of the job. So yeah. let me ask yeah. you this. Is that why you guys moved to LA and got these jobs? Because my, my parents had like the most boring jobs in the world. They looked miserable. And so I was like, I don't want that. I want to have like a oh. creative, fun job. You're, Allison, you said your dad's like a C, CFO? He's a CFO. So, but I look? think my dad enjoys his okay. job. My, so, my parents are also semi-retired. They yeah. both now work from home. Yeah. And they bo- so because they work from home, they get to live wherever okay. they want. So that's cool. And my yeah. folks, have, my folks yeah. were always very into their jobs, really enjoyed huh. their jobs. Uh, yeah. Also I mean, only your me. dad so I never felt like, was in space <clears throat> emotionally. Yeah, so. emotionally he was <laughs> in space. Yeah. Uh, and my mom's an art historian, so but it's like... That just sounds like, I mean, saying your dad is emotionally in space feels like a weird way to be like, my dad's a loony <laughs> yeah. tune. Yeah, he's yeah. really nice, but he's emotionally in space. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but no, but to be honest, what really, for me, what 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 pushed me over the edge was I got a computer science degree and I started working full time doing computer science over the summers and it literally took years off my life. I mean, it was the worst experience. And I always had, I don't know if you, but I always had this weird thing, which I can't remember what they call it. 
it's not Napoleon complex, but it's like a <laughs> no. That's me. No, it's that's a. When, that's when you're short. No, I think it's called <laughs> imposter syndrome. Imp- right. Whoa, so I had what? this whole thing where I honestly, and I worked oh, no for many way. years doing computer science. I honestly felt that every time I would go into a meeting, there would be a meeting when somebody would just go, um, "Wait." you don't know what the fuck you're doing here, do you? And oh. I would go, nope, okay, hey, thanks so much for the job, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and see myself out. Like, literally had that fear where oh I was like, gosh. and They're I gosh, going to figure out I don't know what I'm doing? Yeah, and I would get the work done, I knew yeah. the coding, I would do it, but I never had that feeling of like, this is what I should be doing, and I really loved it. It was really like, oh, fuck, I got to get up, I got to go to the oh, office. Wow. And I was like, wow. I got to get this done. I didn't know you were done. so smart. I didn't know you were one of those wicked smart kids. I'm, I'm, sort, of like, I'm sort of wicked smart. That's amazing. Yeah. But I really, I had that weird feeling where I was like, I feel like somebody's going to just, at every <laughs> meeting, turn around and go, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'd be like, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I'll you. see myself out. Thank you, you know for calling I mean? me out. Yeah. yeah. Thank it's you, funny. God. I can when, go lie on the beach now. When I went to college, like the year I graduated was, you know, it's one of those years that like Time Magazine wrote up about because it was the first year that when you graduated college you weren't guaranteed a job yes there were were so many more college graduates than jobs available because it was like when the recession was starting i guess something like that it's one of those it's like one of those years where we just had where the uh children are most likely to have a worse future and economic stance yeah than their parents yes you know what i mean exactly one of those years where like there was a flip where everybody's like ooh. yeah so when i you know right before graduation I have so many friends from college who are like trying to find jobs and freaking out that they can't find jobs and yeah. don't, not, don't oh, know what they're going to do. And, I, yeah. and I'm sitting there going, I knew I wasn't going to have a job when I graduated because yeah. I was a fucking theater major. Yeah. Like, I, I was I shooting had, for no I job out made, of college. I had made the decision that my life would be struggle. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, yeah. and, and I was satisfied with that decision, obviously. Yeah. But it was such a weird, like, I, I never had the concept of having a steady job. Yeah. So... I felt peace at graduation yeah. wow. when all these people who expected it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. That's so interesting. interesting. Yeah. Hmm. What What was it? Well, we know why you got out of here. It was that guy with the DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Terry owns a freaking DeLorean. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. That's if you guys sweet. were concerned sweet that 12 sweet Monkeys ride. wasn't created by a nerd. Did, yeah, right. Fear, fear no longer because <laughs> Terry owns a fucking DeLorean. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, all right, here we go. So <laughs> ready story. for this one? Here we go. I don't know. Are Self you ready for this? One? Repairing cities. What? How so? Like what? your robots and drones made in Leeds, which is a place, to <laughs> repair <laughs> potholes and streetlights. Ooh, that's cool. They have created what? these drones where they send them out and they basically go, oh, there's a light bulb out. They go send these drones out. They repair the, city, the light and what? then they come back home. I think it'd be cheaper to just send the guy out there to screw in the light bulb. First off, with all the light bulb unions around, (laughs) I mean, okay. And you know the old joke about leads. How many men does it take to screw in a light bulb? Seventy-two. How many? Yeah, how many leads leads does it take? Leadians. Leadians. And what's the answer to that? Oi. Oi. Am I? (laughs) Yeah. No, that's that's Australian. Really? Really? Okay. (laughs) So, but it's better to send a drone, and it's autonomous. So the light bulb goes, "Oh fuck, I'm out," and then a drone is like. Takes a light bulb and is like, <laughs> goes to the thing, screws in the light bulb, well, and then goes home. I like when that you the do light it, it's bulb, adorable. Yeah, I like that the light bulb go- goes, oh, fuck, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. There's a chip now in the light bulb, and when it goes out, it goes, feel like ah, be, oh, fuck, it goes out. No, I actually feel like the light bulb would be like, I've died. <laughs> no, he's like, ah, I'm dead. Ah, I haven't lived enough. So my wait, life was bright but short. <laughs> Give my mother my love. <laughs> she was fire. I hope the next one shines as bright as me. I love so wait, it. If there's chips in that, then how do they know the potholes are potholed? Yeah, that's good. Are there chips and potholes too, How do Alex? they know the potholes are potholes? <laughs> potholed. Well, first off, when a pothole potholes itself, <laughs> if a Just, pothole pots itself in the street, does anybody How many potholes does a pothole pothole if uh, a pothole could pot potholes? So they're yeah. new, uh, they're new robots- uh, robots can identify problems with utility pipes, street lights, and roads, and fix them. So they actually, the robots go out, oh, and find into the, the world, and then they're like, "That's a pothole." And then they <laughs> probably <laughs> why do they talk like a gangster? <laughs> well, because they're potholes. they're mean. They're like, "Get out of the way, please! I'm trying to fix the street." <laughs> Slush bags. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here, meat bag. What's two plus two? Ah, too soon. <laughs> too, too soon? soon. I was gonna say too slow, but I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> What's two plus two? 
Oh, too soon, man. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> too oh, soon. oh shit! I didn't even think. Oh man, I'm sorry. That's uh, right. I but forgot four, what the number four meant. Four to you guys. hasn't been around for a while. <laughs> oh, that's right. horrible. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. Anyway, but I think that's cool that there'll be self-filling fixing how streets. How do they fill in yeah. a pothole? Alex. With cement. <laughs> but no. how does it carry asphalt. Some, with tar, that's a asphalt big. and tar? To asphalt tar. I don't think tar. they use cement on the street. Maybe it's cement with that's little tar. Do they set up the little that's cones sidewalks. to keep you from going into it? Robots this can this set is up a cones. Detailed job. First off, what robots can art- <laughs> have articulating movement of their arms? They but can cones, put cones no, around. No, Eighty-seven a- points of articulation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and one of those articulated points is cone placing. Uh, <laughs> is this? <laughs> I don't think it can do it. <laughs> I, don't, I think... don't think technology is there yet. I don't know. First off, I want to go to Leeds. It'll be the cleanest, most bright street ever. <laughs> most bright. With apparently talking light bulbs. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. That'd be I'm amazing if you walk by, you're like, evening, sir. What the what fuck? The hell? That light Lighting your dark. way okay? Yeah. Good on ya. Have a lovely time in Leeds. <laughs> like, the, the fucking light bulb is a creepazoid. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, the light bulb won't stop talking to me. Yeah, it's like you walk towards it, it goes off, and you look up, it goes on, and you go, got an idea? <laughs> oh, I mean, ah! wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're like, Jeez. stop being a punk, light bulb. <laughs> this, is, this would be the beginning of, like, the, the robot apocalypse, though, is, like, <laughs> yeah. when the, the robots that fix potholes now, like, just asphalt in people <gasps> yeah. no, no it starts with a human falls into a giant pothole and oh. the robots show up and they just repair it without yeah. realizing there's a human in it oh my gosh are these robots big pothole, are, are these robots sink programmed sink are they hole, programmed but... with the three laws of robotics I don't think we've been well, doing that well if they that. don't know that they're killing someone accidentally then they it's would not be even breaking the law no that's no no that's the, the thing number one is you cannot but cause harm, harm to yeah, but humans but if you don't know you're doing that it's talking to the light bulbs it's too busy to pay attention to its pothole yeah or trying Trying to find hey. a, a solid Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like I can't get my communications. Into- poor, poor, <laughs> poor. Oh, it said stop five minutes ago. Oh uh. shit! What are you on, Verizon or T-Mobile? <laughs> <laughs> I, do you think a robot would like go insane if it accidentally killed a human? No, I what think it would it? be like, no, that happened, right? That robot what? in Germany, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. That accidentally killed that in, like, human. Like a VW plant or yeah. something like that. And that that guy's still working. I think the robot is the robot, not the dead guy. Well, no, the dead guy is dead. <laughs> the dead guy, then we no, have but the issues because it means sort of the like, zombie apocalypse. He's started. like taking the door off, putting it on a thing, taking a door off, put it on a thing, kill the human. Whoops! Taking the door off, putting it on a car, <laughs> taking a door. Like I he doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he had the moment they of didn't. whoops. No, he might have the- even said whoops. He might have just been like, "This door doesn't fit." <laughs> malfunction, <laughs> malfunction. Keeps pressing. Yes, press, 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 press bag press, in the press. way. <laughs> That's horrible. Wow. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah. So. So, okay. but think about it. Never having to worry about streetlights being out. Never having to worry about potholes, dude. Especially here in LA, man. Potholes. Yeah. Fuck me. And, and Hoboken, where my brother lives. Yeah. If that's all my brother. My brother has become has become potholes. like a sixty year old man was when it, it comes to the roads. Was it San Francisco that did the thing where you could actually? They had an app where you could actually take a picture of a pothole. It would tag the geolocation what? and send it to the city. That's awesome. No. Yeah, I, I think it was know. San Francisco. Really? <clears throat> that's was it San rad. Francisco or like Seattle or something? Oh my like that. god! I wonder if they just got sent dick pics instead, and they were like, "We're canceling this program." <laughs> yeah. Well, it was dick pics. Fuck off, San Francisco. Dick pics and looking you're getting... into a pothole. Yeah. It was like, oh man. I mean, we should really fix that pothole, but it is also a dick pic. I yeah. don't know what the protocol is here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I guess maybe don't put it up on the web, but we should fix that, and then maybe find that guy who keeps doing dick pics with yeah. it. Stop being a dick, dick pic pothole <laughs> yeah. guy. It's just like. He's putting it like perspective. It looks like he's screwing the pothole <laughs> in the dick pic. <laughs> it's like, what an asshole. Uh, I love do you have it. time for one more? Yeah, how much time we got? Sure. Yeah, it's 40 minutes. Oh, let's oh, do it. Jesus. All right. So I've been wanting to do this. We're going to talk a little bit more about the, the drones next week oh, yeah. uh, because we are soon going to be, we don't want to spoil too much fun. Because yeah, so stop talking. Problem, but we're going to- Shut up, Alex! So, Alex! next story. Alex! One million oh, drones. One million drones will be sold this Christmas. No, the FAA is terrified. Yes, yes. they say that what? one mi- over a million drones are projected to be purchased oh, around Christmas time. Oh my gosh, that's Christmas present. A presents. million. We hey, dear million. mom and dad, I don't want a drone. It's okay. Really? Yeah. On I'm a side note, I'm going to buy some Here's drone Santa. stock. Yeah. <laughs> we should buy drone stock, yeah. whatever that is. Good call. So the FAA has put out or is trying to start putting out this thing where everybody who buys a drone will have to register the drone. Yeah. Perfect. So that way they yeah. can find, a little bit like a plane where they'll have numbers on it so they could find, if somebody's not flying it correctly, they could find right. out who owns the drone. I like that idea. 
I just don't know if that's feasible because it's like you can buy a drone off Amazon. You know what yeah, I mean? They'd but, still get the number. It'd be more even like have, first off, do they even have numbers? Oh, well, I don't know. On the side can, of a drone. Okay. Why they haven't? Can, can they mean, just get chipped like pets? So ooh, you can maybe. scan it. Yeah, they just shoot it out of the sky yeah. and they go bleep with the, that oh, sonic Alice boom thing slip. or whatever. Yeah, with the sonic boom thing. Yeah, but here's the thing: as a kid, when I would get Christmas gifts. Toys, I'd be bored with them two days later and yeah. <laughs> stop playing with them. So, I gotta be yeah. honest, these drones, I gotta, like, not that much of a problem. I well, feel like it would be sweet to have a drone, but I would want uh, it would be yeah. rad for like two days yeah, as like, like a party trick, and then yeah. I'd be like, "What the fuck am I doing with my drone?" Thank you. See, well, maybe, okay. but I feel like so. My dad got really into these like little remote control helicopters. I think it was last Christmas. Yeah, it sounds adorable. It was though. one of those things where he was like, he just saw them at Radio Shack and was like, "I'm gonna buy this for the family." I'm and sorry. So we literally why was spent- your father in a store that no longer exists? Well, it, it was, was in, in the past. past. <laughs> you said like two or three years ago. No, it was one year ago. One year ago? One year ago. They Radio still exist. Radio Shack was still around? Radio Shack is still around today. There's yeah. a Radio Shack really? around that the corner. Was, you can didn't watch. they yeah. like go bankrupt? Yes, but just like all the other companies that go bankrupt, they don't they like don't close really the doors go. on oh. the stores. They just don't have a good corporate structure anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but so we bought this thing and we fucking flew that thing around like crazy. Yeah. It got stuck on the roof. We had we bought another one. We got the <laughs> one off the roof. We used... The new one to attempt to recover the second one no. and then lost that one. No, <laughs> and I don't even Why know if we have any roof? successful one. Oh, it's huge! The the house down <laughs> in San Diego. Bless oh, you. Thank you. I sneezed. Alex <laughs> just did the sign of the cross. Yeah. I did. I just want to make sure no devils got in you. No, it's no, good. it's because you kind of die when you sneeze. <laughs> Doesn't your heart stop when you sneeze? Oh, geez, does uh, it? Actually, yeah. oh yeah. I think your I heart- showed you guys my fake sneeze. Did you uh, did you do a fake sneeze when I did my fake sneeze? <laughs> I think so. I okay. Think was it was, good? No, yours was good. Mine was terrible. Okay. Tom, did we have you fake sneeze? It's you. That's Aww. very good. It's very nice. So anyway, so <laughs> this will be the Christmas of drones. The holiday the season. The Christmas of drones. The holiday Christmas. season of drones. Okay. So be prepared. It's going to be anarchy. It is going to be anarchy. Can you imagine oh, like... It's this is how the movie would go. It's like Christmas Day. Everyone opens up their drones and they're like, "Yay!" Oh, that ter- that picture is terrifying. Um, everyone's like, "Yay, <laughs> Christmas drones!" And then it's like the next day, everyone's like, "Yay, drones!" And then the next day, it's like someone figures out something weird they can do with their drones, and we're like, "Yay, drones!" Um, and then it's like four days later, and Armageddon has hit. That would be amazing. Yeah. Or everybody goes outside and they're like, all these all of a sudden you just see in one synchron like it's like the once, birds one at a time they go. Oh. <laughs> And, and they just take off from every they, household. Yes. We're not fixing light bulbs, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming for get your... the chicken. <laughs> I don't know what the, that means. Get the oh, all right. Hey, you Wait, have what? you have just listened to a Time full out, episode Sex of Sex Town. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sex Town, my car. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sex Town. I loves my car. My Pontiac Sunfire I, convertible. It sounds. What year was it? Sex Town. It sounds awesome. Ninety five. Okay. Wow. Mm. <laughs> uh, 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 manual. What do you I call could, your? I couldn't oh, even man. drive in ninety five. Oh shit! I can't no. drop. Not in fire. That's not the song. No. <laughs> All close. right, everybody. <laughs> that is it for this week's edition of the Half Hour Happy Hour. I am Alex Albright. Well, you always end the show too quickly. What? We why? Have- <laughs> Please send us emails. <laughs> Listen Please to send our- us emails. <laughs> Go to our Twitter Listen account. to our Twitter accounts. <laughs> Go to our Twitter. <laughs> Go to our Twitter account. Alex is just like end. At <laughs> half Hour Happy we have HR. To promote shit, Alex. <laughs> send us so emails. People- <laughs> send us emails at. Half hour happy hour fans at gmail.com. Half hour happy hour fans at gmail.com. Yes. Follow us all on tweeters. At half hour happy HR. Correct. Unless you're Melissa who doesn't have a Twitter account. In that case, maybe, maybe we'll start a Facebook? website for you. We'll start one we don't have a Facebook now. page either. We don't. Oh, we don't? No. Don't Who's going to manage all this stuff? I don't know. Our social page. media cat? Sure. Yeah, Tom, I think this is your new job. <laughs> I don't know. I, <laughs> he, he's like, I just I don't know my Twitter account last yeah. week. <laughs> he was like, what's Tweetar? <laughs> is that what you put on your fish sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> Tweetar sauce? <laughs> wow. Oh, my See, this God. is why I end wow. early. No, that was great, though. <laughs> That's a high note. That's oh, a high note. Tweetar sauce. Uh, That's my new thing. All right. And watch 12 Monkeys on Sci-Fi. Yes, most definitely. All right. Now you can end the show. Alex. That is it for this week's edition of the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. I'm Alex Albrecht. I'm Allison Aislip. With us as always, the lovely and talented Tom Push Buttons Krajewski. We'll see you next week for more laughs and shit. Yeah. More uh, laughs that's and the shirt. shit. That's the shirt right there. See you, see next, you next week, week for, for more, more laughs, laughs and, and shit. shit. Bye. Bye.